Ivo, you are the managing director of business intelligence at SAPI. Yes. We just make a distinction between business intelligence, market intelligence, strategic intelligence. Is there any difference between all those intelligences? To my opinion, yes. Um, and if I start with the market intelligence, that's how we see what's happening out there in the market. It entails a lot of insights. Insights in terms of what is the competition doing, what is the market doing, uh, what are your customers doing. That's what we see as, as the market intelligence. Business intelligence to us is clearly the link of what do we as a company do with this information. So we do see um, uh, it's a translation into your own personal company. That's what we see the translation of business. If you want to have a better understanding of the in insights of the market, we believe that market intelligence is a much broader definition mm -hmm. as you look at the whole spectrum. Some companies, though, might call it strategic intelligence mm -hmm. for the simple reason that what do you do with all that information? And I think at the end of the day, uh, for me, um, market intelligence is entailing the total spectrum. What you do with this information at the end could be a strategic competitive advantage or not. Can you do a business intelligence or, or strategic intelligence without making a proper market intelligence? Uh? I think um, you need to have a thorough understanding of your market before being able to translate what is the impact for you as a company. So I think there is for sure a close interlink. Mm -hmm. But if you take business intelligence, it is purely looking at okay, the little um, impact on your company, not really exploring about what's happening out there with your, your competition or, or even technology development. When we hear about um, business intelligence, some people just associate it with software or just uh, IT tools. Um, is that a mistake or is IT just a part of I, the process? To me, it's for sure not an IT tool. To me, it's about understanding about what's happening in the market and translating that into an insight for you as a company. Um, you might use an IT tool for it, but I, there's not per se the need to have IT involved. Mm -hmm. It's much broader and much more deeper. Is it a human process or is it a cultural approach, would you say? No, it's very much a human process of understanding what's all happening in there and translating that into what does it mean for you as a company. What, what is the um, um, resources you need for for that? Uh, do you need a special team or is it a business that uh, anyone uh, in the execution of tasks should be uh, involved in? Um, I do think everyone can do it but mm -hmm. if you just between brackets do this next to your normal job mm -hmm. it's very difficult because what you have to do is you need to spend time in understanding what's out there in the market and what is your competition doing and what is happening and translating that into your business mm -hmm. area just doing that next to your normal job i think that's extremely difficult so having a dedicated team might be even too very limited it might be big but mm -hmm. that depends mm -hmm. on the company mm -hmm. will help a lot to just generate that intelligence yeah um, when we if we broaden the people involved in that it means that some people have to be trained. Um, is it something which um, implies some investment in the training of the people? I personally don't think there's no investment needed. It's in, the only investment might be is to have a talk and to have the employees being willing to open up their eyes and mm -hmm. just staying mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. own little area and their own little corner. As long as they have the capabilities to widen their scope and widen their, their view, you already have achieved a lot. Okay, last question. Uh, what about the reporting and uh, uh, the handling of all those data or the interpretation of that? Um, well, I can only talk on behalf of my company. Yeah. And we do have uh, different ways of communicating our uh, insights into the, com into the company. Um, we do it via um, bi-weekly newsletters. Uh, but we also have, and I think that's much more of value, interactive sessions with business unit leaders to explain and to explore what we find out and to have that interaction in order to be able to judge mm -hmm. the usefulness or not. That's, that's critical now for uh, any business? I think that's extremely critical. Um, I cannot judge how that is with other companies, but uh, um, at least it's the most effective if you have the face-to-face the -face interactive discussions rather than just another email or another recall. <laughs>